Yeah, really a frustrating game. You know, I thought we, we moved the ball reasonably well at various stages. Just couldn't quite get that finishing touch inside 50. You know, they've got elite running capacity. They, they get numbers back and then they charge out. So they're going to be a really impressive side. I think they, you know, we made it known to our players. They play really well here. You know, they've taken Hawthorne, you know, earlier in the year to within a couple of kicks and they just play this ground very well. They've got elite runners. They use a the ball. So we felt we were chasing backside for a fair bit of that, uh, especially the last quarter. First time since 2000, you've Richmond strung five wins together in, on the trot. Is it you know, is that pleasing, or is it more just hurting because of the start of the season? Yeah, it's probably a little bit of both. You obviously enjoy the the winning of games, but we're probably obviously disappointed with the way the season started. We're still not playing, I think, to the you know the level that we'd like. We get away with a win today, but you know I thought GWS really showed us how good they were going to be, and we probably won ugly which is a big thing about it. But, you know, credit to our guys. We've won what, five on the trot now. We've just got to make sure we've got a big game next Friday versus the side that will be on the rebound after their loss last night. So it's going to be a big challenge for us. Does the running and the demands they put on you make it harder for the guys to make that last kick into the 50 or do the polished things that you sort of need? Yeah, a little bit of both. Uh, you know, fatigue comes into it. Probably there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of numbers back there too at various stages, but, you know, probably coming off a... It's pretty soggy ground over and flight back from, from Perth. So our guys look really tired towards the end. But, but like I said, they, they've got an elite running capacity that side and I thought they showed us up there in that when area. They, when they got those few kicks at the start of the fourth, I think it was, and sort of cut things down a bit, or were you a bit concerned that the last um, legs might hurt you? Oh, look, I, I personally always felt like we had the game in control. Probably my reactions a couple of times in the box probably didn't actually reflect that. But... Um, Look, I thought we'd always come through with it. We just had to control the ball a bit better. At stages, we were trying to slow it down just to control the, the tempo of the game, and we probably played on a couple of times. It was a little bit frustrating, but you know, I always felt we were in control. You know, We won't contest a ball quite comfortably in that area. We just couldn't quite finish off the work inside 50, which was really disappointing and something we'll be uh, looking to work on this week. What's your take on the conquer, Devin Smith? Incident? Yeah, I didn't see. Obviously, heard he got reported, but um, it was outside my vision. So... Oh, listen, we want our guys to, to play to the line. We, we don't want them to step over. You know, that if he gets weeks, whatever it may be, we're really disappointed for that. We, we like our guys to play tough, but we don't like them to go above and beyond. Uh, we, we know that and, you know, we've got to reel them back if they do. Are you frustrated that a player's put himself in this situation given the circus? Oh, definitely. He's a, you know, he's a good player. So, you, you know, there's always going to be, you know, pushing and shoving, but that's OK, but... We don't want anyone stepping over the line. Uh, Damon, uh, upsetting Adelaide, there's obviously going to be some talk about finals. I mean, do you sort of hold out hope that you might get there? Oh, we just worry about what we control. You know, we've got to win a lot of games and we've got a big challenge next week. You know, Friday will tell us a little bit more about that picture. We've just got to make sure we come out. You know, we're really embarrassed about our game last time versus Essendon. We were probably, a, oh, without doubt, the worst game of the year. You know, our players were really disappointing. We had no energy. We lacked uh, the ability to win contests. So we're looking to rectify that next week. I know you said you weren't that happy today, but do you think you can play the sort of brand of footy that could get you there? Oh, I think we're capable of you know beating every opposition we play. You know, we get the the ball moving the right way defensively or on. We weren't today, but you know we're capable of upsetting some sides. But we look no further than Essendon next week. You know, they've been a side in really good form. They, you know, they fought back really well versus Sydney last week. We've just got to make sure we, uh, we take that momentum that they finished with away from them and, and get the game on our terms. How good's Brandon Ellis? How good could he be? Well, he's had an outstanding year. He probably started a little bit slow. Um, look, his work rate is probably the thing that he's discovered how hard he has to work. Um, you know, he, he, he runs a lot. <laughs> You know, he's just one of those guys that works up and down the ground. And look, he's really improved his contested ball. That was probably the one thing we, we spoke to him about over the course of or course of the summer. He's done a truckload of work on that. He's become really solid in that area. Uh, the ability to use a ball is very good. So he's having a great year. Is he yeah. He's very close. Like it's his third year. He might be might be 21. I still think he's got a you know a lot of upside, which is you know quite scary when you think how well he's going this year. But he has a very good mark for his size. We'd like him to kick some more goals, but you know he's got scope for improvement, which is exciting for our footy club. Any um, 
No, we're OK. Dusty was sore all day, so he just perched himself up forward and kicked a couple. But other than that, we were pretty good. Yeah, look, Bug did a good job. Look, Dusty was, look, he's sore all week, so, you know, probably lucky to get up and play, really. We just thought we'd perch him at full forward and hopefully kick some goals. So we were pleased with that result from him. He got through unscathed, which was pleasing. Oh, he'll be fine. He's just general soreness. You know, he's had a pretty pretty big workload, had a great year. Um, he just probably need a little little rest, so. With the Essendon thing, just one last one to where you go. Matt says it's going to be a... Yeah, I think the, it's a really good point. I, th I think the big one from us is our, when we met them last time, our contested ball was poor. You know, I think we're, we're AFL number two at the moment from a differential point of view. That, that's been the difference in our ball game. Look, you know, you get a Vaughan back in your side, Alex Rance, uh, you bring in a young kid called Miles. You know, that's been a real strength of our bow. You know, some things have happened that we've worked on, but also bringing those players that are capable of winning that game. You know, if we win more contests than we lose, we're generally going to go OK. We've got some work to do with our ball use inside 50, but uh, we're a different side than we played them last time, no doubt. There's obviously a bit of hope with the Tiger Army at the moment. Don't do you, do you try and push that away and you know, envelope yourself away from that, or do you embrace it a little bit this week? No, I think the Tiger Army will always embrace it. You know, our, our supporters are outstanding. Um, it's amazing how loud they are you know, when they, we get up and going. So we just got to make sure we get them there to support us. You know, they're really important to us, especially when we're, we're playing well. You know, the vibrancy, we actually feed off it. So from our point of view, we've got to get as many as we can there next Friday night because there's no doubt they help us get over the line. No, uh, we don't need him sculling cans at the... Uh, <laughs> one of the old... He's, thank God he's not my problem anymore. Seriously. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> Thanks, guys.